What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and this is our preview to tonight's Showtime matchup uh, featuring on the undercard, Badu the Jack Ripper taking on Jean Pascal in a dealing with the WBA again, but a title bout for the WBA light heavyweight regular title that's going down on the undercard of Javante Davis versus Yuriokis Gamboa. I came going to do the preview to that, and uh, let's get started. So here we have two guys that have been around for a while, a little bit older. Uh, Pascal is 37, Jack is 36. Then they've pretty much seen a who's who in the 168-pound and 175-pound divisions. Um, just to start off with Jack, um, or both of them, their last opponent uh, was the same opponent in Marcus Brown. Um, Badu Jack faced Marcus Brown, lost to Marcus Brown early this year. I want to say January of this year. So it's a heck of a way to start off. In which he was beaten, but he really was outboxed and suffered a really bad cut in that fight. But well, both these guys, both of them are extremely tough. It takes a lot to actually knock them out. Um, and he was able to make it all 12 rounds. And you could tell that that cut was really bothering him. So had it not been for the cut, it would have been a much more competitive fight. Whereas John Pascal was able to take an eight round technical decision due to a clash of heads and a cut that was created on the face of Marcus Brown. But in that fight, he was able to knock down Marcus Brown a couple of times um, when Brown got careless. And that speaks a lot for the upcoming bout because one of the things that Pascal is known for, aside from being tough, but he comes in, he, he's, he can be very aggressive. He can also be tentative in the later rounds as he is heavily muscled and he tends to uh, tire, I would say, in rounds 9 through 12. But he doesn't give up. You really have to make him capitulate. And you saw that in the differences between the two Sergey Kovalev fights with him where the first one, he was able to take Kovalev tooth and nail. He was motivated, but Kovalev came back and really was able to take the fight and sharpshoot um, Pascal, able to maintain his distance and keep him on the end of those long right hands. Whereas Badu Jack can do the same thing. I think he has the pedigree, the patience, and the toughness to kind of weather that attack from Jean Pascal and take advantage of his aggressiveness. Um, do not move straight back. Uh, that was the... And do not move straight back and do not get caught in exchanges with Pascal because the one thing that he does well is he throws not very wide, but he throws looping shots that are very tight and very explosive. Sure, he can jab to the body. He has a decent jab, but he has shorter arms. He's about two to three inches shorter than Badu Jack. I want to say about two inches in a, in a shorter reach. But he can get full extension. He can get on the inside. He's quick. He's just not as quick as he used to be. Whereas Jack has never re really been a guy that has been super explosive and super athletic, but he's been patient. He's stuck to a game plan, and he's been consistent over the course of a fight. The problem is, in being patient and letting that fight come to you, uh, the times that he needs to be aggressive, he will not be aggressive. He get, tends to get tentative and open it up. That's the last thing he does want to do against John Pascal because John Pascal will punch with you. As soon as you open up, he's either going to throw a counter shot after taking a hit or punch with you and throw a very short right hand to knock down his opponent. Um, and that's what you got to look out for. Aggressiveness, um, those looping shots, and getting caught. If you cannot back Pascal up, if he tends to stand his ground and trade or punch with you, then he's going to knock you down. But if you can either push him back or make him reach, then that creates a lot of openness for Badu Jack to take advantage of. But the problem is he's got to step on the gas and take advantage of it once he has Pascal missing or else Pascal is going to walk him down and really try to bully him on the inside. Again, Badu Jack's tough, but from that shorter position, Pascal can really get in there and do a little bit of dirty boxing. Badu Jack, again, use your lateral movement. Make a miss. 
don't move straight back. He was able to take a draw versus DeGale. He was able to get a draw versus Adon Stevenson. And then early in his career, he had one versus Marco Antonio Parabon, which he really should, again, have stepped on the gas and really pressed to make it look like he was winning the fight. Too often, he his consistency and his... Um, unless he's down in a fight, he would not take those unnecessary chances. You shouldn't take unnecessary chances, but you do have to take chances in order to win rounds. And I think that tentativeness between him and Don Stevenson really showed that. And then when he has to press versus Marcus Brown, he's going to be more aggressive and he's going to push the fight. And I think he can push the fight. I think he'll be able to put hands on Pascal. You can see in his training that He's working to be a little bit more offensive. But will that translate over into the ring? I think Badu Jack can take this fight as long as he is making it look like he is winning the, winning the fight and really moving forward. And if he can press him back, again, you want to push Pascal back. You want to land very sharp punches on any of those punches from the outside, maybe mid-range, mostly from the outside. Press him back and make him tentative. Um make him hesitant to want to punch with you because you're throwing the sharper, straighter punches, then guess what? You can do that. Um, another thing, Pascal is not the greatest body puncher, but Badu Jack is a, is a good one. And I think he can drop uh, some body shots under the elbows of Pascal. Um, he doesn't have the elbows tight. He kind of has them out. And Marcus Brown was able to do that very well. Not with the jab, but just kind of throwing around the guard of Pascal. Look for him to do that. If he's able to do that, he'll be able to slow Pascal down, push him back, make him tentative, and make him more hesitant to punch. And take him in the deep waters into the later rounds where he will only, where he will sit on just maybe one punch at a time. And that's when it's you're able to make him really miss, reach, and make him pay. This was a really quick one. I don't have much for you. Hakeem's going to bring you the uh, Gamboa Davis um preview if you haven't already subscribed to our channel hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell icon so you can get the latest and greatest information from capital combat me and hakeem uh like this video share with your friends please comment we'd love to have discussions with everyone about fighting whether it's on youtube hit us up in email capital combat at gmail.com facebook same name instagram same name Twitter, same name. And so next time, fight on. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming.